So what we can do here, identify u and du. So we'll set u equal to x cubed plus one. And then we'll set du equal to uh, the derivative of that, which is just three x squared, uh, the derivative of one zero. <coughs> so what's gonna happen here is we're integrating basically um, u raised to the one half, because that's the same thing as u, uh, the square root of what's under u, or what's under the radical there. And then du is 3x squared. All right, so we integrate this. We get u raised to the one half plus one over one half plus one plus c. Now we can sub back in. We have uh, x cubed plus one raised one half, one half plus one is three halves all over three halves plus c. And finally, um, the same thing as two, quantity x cubed plus one raised to the three halves all over three plus c. And if we take the derivative of this again, what we end up with is um, we have the two thirds times three halves, which we pull down from the exponent times what's inside the derivative. And then we have x cubed plus one and then three halves minus ones raised to the one half. These cancel out, we get one there, and then we have the three x squared on the outside like we have up on the radical. And this x cubed plus one raised to the one half is the same thing as just writing up the radical instead. So um, that means that this integration here is correct. And the u's just help us, ex um, they abstract it away so it's a little easier to figure it out. What the heck's going on? Ugh. Yeah glitch. Okay. Anyway, I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching this video and you have a great day.